Hello everybody, I am XGamer Richie, and you may be wondering why on earth are you playing Night's Journey of Dreams? I thought you uh, did this playthrough absolutely ages ago, and I mean, you, you would be correct in that. I, I uh, finished this HD playthrough of the game in 2012. There was one thing that I mentioned doing at the end of that playthrough that I feel it's, it's time to actually come back and make right on. Because at the end of that playthrough I said, maybe one day I will cover collecting all of the dream drops in Night's Journey of Dreams. Because, I mean, part of me always wanted to complete Night's Journey of Dreams because it's a game that I really do love. And obviously it's a very important part of my YouTube journey. I mean, especially considering we are coming up to my seventh YouTube anniversary, which feels... it is ridiculous. And I mean, it's been four years since I made that statement. So, seeing as I recently beat... well, did Nights into Dreams for the channel, and also for the wonderful Hellfire commentaries, and discussions have been in place to uh, do Nights Journey of Dreams for Hellfire Comms as well, I felt now was the time to go and get all of those dream drops to finally finish Nights Journey of Dreams once and for all. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing over the next four videos. Just think of them as a nice little extra bonus that you might not have otherwise gotten. And also it means that, personally, I have a little bit more time to get future playthroughs and walkthroughs prepared, because uh, obviously life gets in the way and you start to get a little bit behind and you try and make a buffer but it doesn't necessarily always work. So, and also sometimes you find yourself with a little gap where you don't really want to start anything until, you know, the YouTubeversary. So this is... This is where we are going. So, the way this is all going to work is I'm going to be flying through as all the levels where I didn't collect a dream drop before. So, uh, that's pretty much the majority of the levels, I think. In my main run of the game, I picked up nine dream drops. Four of those, I believe, are in my dream, which you should be able to see me collecting in uh, the extras video that is there on the channel. There were, I believe, two in Helen's version of Bellbridge. There was one which was in, uh, I believe it's Neon City Battle in uh, Will's final level. I can't remember what the hell it's called. All I remember is that the song is Electrical Entertainment. <laughs> So, other than that, those few bits we are not going to be showing off because, you know, already collected them. If you want to see me collecting them and where they are located, go and watch the main body of the playthrough because why the hell not? Now, also seeing as, you know, we have to do all of the chase missions, I just thought, well, let's return to all the bosses as well. See how uh, much not playing this game for four years is going to do to how uh, my gameplay goes down and as you can see it's uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit messy in comparison to how I used to be like when I did that original well that HD updates so obviously it was just recording in component rather than with composite cables, so it, lo it looked slightly, well, a lot clearer. I could theoretically have done this on my Wii U with my uh, new Elgato, but unfortunately you can't transfer saves of Night's Journey of Dreams via SD card, because obviously I don't want to lose all the stuff that's on my Wii right now, because I kind of like it being there. Because certain games 
I don't know. I, I, I like having my save data just where it was. And also I remember at the time before I got my Elgato, I wasn't sure of what worked and what didn't, and it was a little bit... Mm. But I should probably explain why I'm speeding up loads of stuff here. So whenever we are near to a dream drop, I'm going to go slow, let you see what I'm doing, where I'm going which bit of the level the Dream Drop is in and where it's located, but whenever we are dealing with stuff that is not important, i.e. just the main body of the level, we're just going to go speeding through because it's kind of funny, and I, I just thought, yeah, why the hell not? Make use of uh, this editing technique that I <laughs> didn't know I could do until Okami, which is very embarrassing. You would have thought I, it's something that I would have just happened to have come across in just general mucking about with Sony Vegas, but there we go. I think for the longest time, because there was no automatic speed up, slow down plug-in, which I thought there should have been, and I thought was only available in like Sony Vegas Pro, I just never really thought to do my uh, control and drag, because that actually works, and uh, obviously it's helping me wonderfully because it means that I can go through all of this in a ridiculously short amount of time. So the amount of footage, which I mean is essentially the same as doing an entire new walkthrough of Journey Dreams, except not replaying levels to ensure I get an A rank, because that was so much faff. I love Journey Dreams so much, and I love it more than I like now it's into dreams, just because I prefer the camera angles, I prefer the variety more, all that sort of jazz. But the th three or so hours that I spent on, uh, well, with Journey of Dreams, I basically had to redo to get all these dream drops, because you have to replay through all of the levels again, if you didn't get them the first time round. Now that's... Dream Drop just after that ramp is so annoying. Like, you have no idea. You've got to be so precise on the timing. I think it's literally just as you hit the ramp, and you have to press A to jump, and you've got to be, you've got to be going straight on. If you go too far along the ramp, you will completely miss it. If you go jump too soon, you will completely miss it. I had to restart this level so many times. It was just like, yo, why do you do this to me, game? Good sake. But yeah, you're going to be seeing a grand mixture of results throughout these extras, because it's just the way it rolls, really. Now, pretty much the way that they set out all of the Dream Drops in the game is that you'll always get one or two in the chase missions for just running around the level as Will or Helen, and then... The rest will be located as knights, which is quite fun. I believe if I just go and uh, get the correct information up, there are pretty much four dream drops in every single chase mission, and then it varies from that point on. So, you only get one dream drop in the short challenges. So like the uh, aqua challenge that we're going to be facing in uh, Helen's Splash Garden and the Link missions. Though Link's missions pretty much always have one dream drop Extra challenges generally only have one dream drop, and then if you have any of the missions like Crystal Castle with the Glass Labyrinth, or Will's Escort Mission for Helen, then there are generally two dream drops in those. 
and that's pretty much consistent throughout the entire game. So, uh, there's a lot of collecting to do. There really, really is. And I mean, this one, this particular Dream Drop is a bit frustrating because you've got to climb all the way up this tower. I don't know why anyone would think to come and look up here. I mean, I suppose you see a massive tower and you think, I'm going to climb that. But the amount of time it takes to get up here means that you are seriously in trouble on getting caught by the Awakeners. I don't think we ever actually saw them in the main playthrough because I was always rushing as much as possible because I wanted to get the A ranks and that generally focuses on getting things done in a speedy time. And also I never really explored as Willow Helen because why would you? You want to get to the main body of the level which is not with these guys and well, and Helen's gameplay always ended up being the weaker part of Journey of Dreams. It feels a little bit probably more realistic than Clarice and Elliot do in Into Dreams, what with their ridiculous jumps and incredibly blocky look. But either way, it's, uh, it's all good. Now, considering that I've never gotten any of the Dream Drops, or at least have never bothered to try and collect all the Dream Drops in this game before, I was going into this pretty blind. And while it would have been smarter, I suppose, to uh, just go, let's have a video guide, watch a video, and then follow the level after that, that didn't seem to really enter my head until I was thinking, I, I can't see where these things are. It didn't happen that often. I mean, that one, I think, I was a bit like, I'm lost, I need to go on a loop around, I'm just going to have to pause and continue. I think that's pretty much what what happened a little bit earlier on. But, oh dear. Now, the next dream drop in this level is actually on the third lap, so this is just a case of Blitz the second lap, because, I mean, there is no need to really focus on it. And then we have a particularly cruel dream drop, because you need the Dragon Persona to be able to collect it. And to actively make use of the Dragon Persona, you're going to need to make sure that you have a bit of Drill Dash power available to you because otherwise it's just not going to behave as you want it to. Or you're not going to be able to enter the Dragon Persona, and that really screwed me over, because the Dream Drop is very sneakily hidden just here before you enter this gust of wind. If you follow the bird, or the, the um, goodle as I think it's called, then you will... Uh, you can theoretically get it, but it's very difficult, and you'll potentially just overshoot entirely. It's ridiculous. So the, the best way of getting it is to go into the Dragon Persona, just to ignore the bird, and glide above the water and get it that way. Because once you do that, you are actually in a much better position. And you can actually, you know, get the damn thing. But there we go, that is uh, the chase mission of Lost Canyon done. It's been so long since Lost Park, there we go. It's been so long since I've done Journey of Dreams that I've just forgotten the names of all of the levels, which is not very helpful, is it, to be fair. But this is what happens when you just sort of have this time, like such a long break in covering a game. I will have to make sure that I uh, brush up on my Journey of Dreams lingo for when I eventually do the Hellfire Comms group commentary of this, because I am using all of my old footage just 
making it look a little bit prettier with new video settings and uh, all that jazz. But yes, I'll have to make sure that I am up to date on that. But it is insane to think quite how far I have come since doing that original Journey of Dreams commentary. Because, I mean, I, to be fair, I hadn't done that many playthroughs at that point. It was perhaps maybe ten in total? So obviously, Journey Dreams was the first thing that I ever covered, and that was 2009, although technically it was obviously 2008, but we'll go with the whole 2009 date because it's a bit more accurate, but let's see, so... So, Night's Journey Dreams HD was actually my 20th project, which is pretty insane. When you think about it, but since then, I have done pretty much 40 projects. <laughs> Obviously, that includes everything that I have covered for Hellfire Commons as well, so that's all the stuff that I've either recorded for Hellfire Commentaries or that I have just participated in the commentary for. Obviously, some of those are repeats because it means that I've done like. Lost Winds twice, I've done uh, obviously Knights twice, Bayonetta twice, I did two No More Heroeses because I did my solo run and the Hellfire comms run, and it includes some movie comms because obviously I've started doing that now. It's hilarious to think about it because way, way, way back when I did actually create an Xgamer Ritchie movie comms channel, and I did movie commentaries for like Pokemon the First Movie, and I think one or two others? And I rather stupidly uploaded some of the movie footage onto YouTube. These, this was back in the day where I wasn't really too sure about copyright and all that jazz. So I just thought, it'd be fine, loads of other people would do it. And then that channel pretty much got shut down. <laughs> Obviously we are now in the days where you can seemingly upload full movies onto YouTube and they remain up forever and ever and ever. But that, that's not who I am anymore. I'm much more careful when it comes to copyrights. Because you really don't want to get hit by those things because they are an absolute blighter to deal with. But yeah, it, it's it's great to see how far I come and that I'm obviously part of Health by Comms now, which was the thing that inspired me to start commentaries in the first place. So it's it's just ridiculous. But either way, that is the first of four parts of these Night's Journey Dream bonuses, so let's continue. 